Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a number based puzzle. It says that a teacher wrote 10 numbers on the board. These are the numbers and asked 5 students to make the below calculations. So these are the calculations given for these 5 people A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Uh, then each friend solves their problem correctly and writes down their answer. So each of them solve correctly. They did not make mistake in the calculations. But the teacher announced that all except Isha got their answers incorrect. She said that all the responses should have been integers. Okay. Also, two of the students should have got the same answer. Now, what is the possible uh, thing that is she later figured out that one of the numbers written by her on the board was incorrect. So due to one incorrect number she wrote on the board, the calculations went wrong for four of these five students. So we need to figure out that which is the incorrect number and answer the other questions as well. As a result, the students got answers different from hers. Okay. So these four people got incorrect answers and Isha got the right answer. That means multiples of four must have been the correct ones. Now, if you see this, uh, the first one is arrange the numbers in ascending order and find the average of the first six. So average of first six numbers in ascending order. Similarly, one of these is descending order sum of first five. So uh, basically, we need to arrange these numbers in an order and then answer uh, calculate answers for two of the questions. So for simplicity, let us write these numbers in ascending order. That is three, five, then we have eight then 11 after 11 we have 14 then 17 after 17 22 28 33 and 40 so these are the 10 numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so first person had to find the average of first six numbers so this is the task of a okay uh, find the sum of all odd numbers. Okay, so this is the task of B. Okay, then we have uh, Chitra's task was to find the average of the prime numbers. Okay, so this is the task of C. Average of this. Then fourth person had to arrange the numbers in descending order, find the sum of first five, basically the top five numbers. Okay, so this is the task of D and E had to find the sum of multiples of 4. So this is the task of E. Okay, so let us find these values for A, B, C, D, E, what they must have got as the result. So E is the easiest one to do, right? Just add 28, 40, 68 plus 8, 76. For D, it was the last 5 numbers, that is 73. 101, 101 plus 39, 140. Okay. Uh, C was find the average of prime numbers. That is 8, 8 plus 28, 36. And there are four prime numbers out of these. So 9 is the answer. And then we have uh, Bhavana sum of all odd numbers. Odd numbers that is this we got 36 plus 33 that is 69. Okay, and the last one is that uh, this person A, so she has to find the average of this 8, 16, 27, 41, 58, 58 divided by 6, which gives us the result as 9.67. Okay, now how to figure out the wrong number that is the main task in this set. So, if you see this, uh, it says the conditions given is that all the responses should have been integers. So very easy to figure out that there is a mistake in one of the numbers this person has written. Okay. So uh, and this person got all correct. So that means 8, 28 and 40 are not, uh, not among the incorrect numbers. The number that is incorrect has to be one out of these numbers. Okay. And second thing is given to us is that uh, the second thing that is given to us is that two of them should have got the same response. Okay. Now, if you see this uh, 58 by 6, now what number if we add makes it an integer? 
so 58 60 by 6 is an integer 66 by 6 is an integer 72 by 6 is an integer so that means the number could have been increased by 2 or it could have been increased by uh, uh, 10 uh, sorry 8 it could have been increased by 14 or it could have been decreased also right it could have been like minus 4 minus 10 minus 16 like this also because if we subtract 4 54 will be uh, this okay now the thing is the tricky part here is that four of them made a mistake okay so let us try to understand that where the problem lies now if we decrease a number by 2 8 14 or anything we have to ensure that others should also get the, like for example uh, it has to be an odd number first of all because this number is also impacted okay so it cannot be an even number so uh, the number cannot be 8 or 14 because if it was an even number then it would not impact the answer of b okay second thing is that uh, this must have been a prime number because if the prime number changes right uh, then it would if it was a non prime number the answer would have uh, not changed for this person right so it is a prime number it is an odd it is prime okay now another thing that we need to consider is that uh, this person also got incorrect okay now we must think we might think that the incorrect number is 17 like that is a quite a possibility so let us assume that this number is 17 okay let's just assume this number is 17 so what happens is uh, if we make it like let us consider this case if we make it minus 4 okay if we take the we are assuming that the number is 17 so if we make it minus 4 it will become 13 we are considering this number that it is reduced so if we make it minus 4 it will become 13 and what will happen is now the top five numbers would be 1 2 3 4 5 okay uh, so if it if it makes 17 as 13 okay so her answer will change what will happen to uh, this person's answer this person's answer will become it is uh, reduced by 4 so it becomes 9 okay 54 by 6 this person's answer will reduce by 4 that is 65 this person's answer will reduce by 4 it will become 8 this person's answer will reduce by 4 that is 136 and this is 76 okay but it is said that two of the students should have got the same answer which is not the case here okay so we cannot decrease 17 by 4 okay if we decrease 17 by 10 okay so another thing possibility is if we decrease 17 by 10 what will happen if we decrease it by 10 it will become 7 okay now this is 36 if you decrease 10 it will become 26 which will not give an integer so we cannot decrease by 10 also okay uh, we cannot decrease by 16 because if we decrease by 16 that means uh, this will become 1 okay and then uh, you, you will get these three prime numbers one is not a prime number and uh, the average will not be an integer so we have eliminated the possibilities that a number is being decreased okay now what has happened is a number must have increased okay one of these numbers must have increased so if a number increases if a number increases uh, it can increase by 2 8 14 okay so let us say that 17 is that number which increased by 2 okay so this would have become 19 now her answer will change her answer will also change okay so let us find the answers so this will be 142 because sum hai, do add ho jayega. This is 71. Now this is uh, like 60 by 6 that is 10. And this will become 38 by 4 because if you increase by 2, it becomes 38 by 4 that is 9.5 which is not possible. So that means 17 is not increasing by this as well. Okay. If we increase by 8, 
if we increase 17 by 8 it will become a non prime number okay so that is also not possible if we increase 17 by 14 okay if we increase 17 by 14 this will become 31 okay and this will be 50 by 4 that is 12.5 so that is also not matching all right now we need to think some other way right 17 is not working out because we are not satisfying both these conditions these conditions should be satisfied should have been integers and two students got the same answer we are unable to get this condition now let us think of another number that can be increased and think in a slightly different manner okay what if see we can we know that decreasing part is not working we have to have an increasing number and we cannot increase these numbers suppose we increase 11 by some number okay we cannot increase by 2 uh, the reason being if we increase by 2 it will become 13 okay we will not get an integer value here but what if we increase 11 by 8 let us think of this possibility if we increase 11 by 8 then the number should have been 19 and 19 would have come here okay 19 would have come here so this part would have been the answer for this person okay let us see if things if we put like this and see if the answers match so if we increase by 8 it becomes 66 by 6 which is 11 okay 69 we have increased the number by 8 so this is 77 okay uh, we have increased by 8 so this is 44 by 4 which is 11 okay and it is a prime number 19 is a prime number okay and uh, if we increase this by 8 that becomes 148 so that is the thing now does it match all the conditions yes it matches both the conditions how first thing is two all the responses are integers yes all of them are integers two of the students should have got the same answer so a and c are getting the same answer okay and isha's answer will not be impacted as she already had a correct answer in the beginning so that is the number that we have spotted uh, and we got that uh, what is the correct number as well which of the numbers was written incorrectly that is 11 okay instead of uh, 11 it should have been 19 okay which two students should have got the same answer which is a and c that is aditi and chitra what is the actual answer of bhavna after the correction so bhavna's answer will increase by 8 that will become 77 okay by how much does the answer of chitra differ from the actual answer so chitra's answer is 9 an actual answer should have been 11 so the answer differs by 2 so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions i hope you loved solving this set so please don't forget to like this video